I want to go out to a very exclusive guest right now. Keith Mitnick is joining us. He is the civil attorney for Zaneda Fernandez Gonzalez. He is the one is asking the majority of the questions. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, I want to ask Thank you. you what do you think was the strongest answer you got yesterday from those depositions to help your case? Well, there probably were two. The, the main two answers were the fact that they went public and said, Zenaida, this Zenaida Gonzalez, our client, that back when, when Casey cleared her to the police, they went public and said, no, she didn't look at the photograph, we didn't clear her, keeping the cloud of suspicion over her head, and that Cindy Anthony had specific authority from Casey to go public and tell that that to the public and keep her within the cloud of suspicion rather than tamp it out. Well, when you look at all the answers you got yesterday and the questions that were not answered, that they refused to answer, do you see yourself going back to court in a motion to compel to get more answers from George and Cindy? I, I certainly do. Certainly with George, some of the significant questions that we had were just that we got a total stone wall and he ducked the, the hard questions with him, he's going to be back there. Now I want to ask you that yesterday George Anthony, very emotional and I think in many respects very, very understandable, but he accused you of some very, very improper conduct yesterday at this sworn deposition, you an officer of the court, let's listen to what he said. I, I want to understand something. How can you get involved in a criminal case when this is a civil matter? Explain that to me, sir, and you keep on fishing for more stuff. Do you want, is, is just 15 minutes of fame so important to you? Uh, sir, I don't have to explain anything, but I will. Yes, sir, you have to explain a lot to me. I, actually, I don't, but I will, as a, just as a courtesy. Well, thank you. I'd appreciate some courtesy. Okay. And I I'd appreciate you giving me the finger as you're putting your foot down. Sir, your, I, uh, come on. I'm pushing yes, my you glasses are. up. I don't. No, you've, you've, you've done it three or four times, so I don't appreciate and, the and motion. And I will continue. I push my glasses slide down up on my face. I wouldn't sit here and shoot a bird at you. I'm sorry. I will be very well, careful to use my pinky so there's no question. All right, now, Mr. Mitnick, I see you wear glasses. I do, and I, I tell and you what I do. All, you'll you. probably catch me doing this. You couldn't see. I do Show this. Show us. What were you doing They yesterday? come down, and I do this. They, I don't know why. I've never get my nose must not be shaped right. My glasses never stay up. They slide down. I do this all day long. And I, somewhere, I, and I've done this with hundreds of witnesses in 26 years. I've worn glasses my whole professional career. I've never heard anyone accuse me of shooting a bird at them. It was absolutely ridiculous to suggest that I four or five times was shooting a bird at the gentleman for pushing my glasses back well, up. Let's go to Dr. Lillian Glass right now, PhD out of Los Angeles, California. Dr. Glass, when you see the antagonism, and we have seen it thus far tonight, what are your thoughts as to the mindset of these parents that have lost their granddaughter? Gene, it's you really see such hostility, such anger, and it really gives you some understanding about Casey because the apple certainly doesn't fall too far from the tree. The evasiveness, the not getting to the point. Uh, it, it, very disturbing to watch these tapes, very disturbing. She wouldn't answer questions, but you know what? With her body language, she answered them. But don't you think it's understandable in one sense? They have lost to their a, granddaughter. To a degree, but this at this point, you really see that it's gone overboard. You know, we've always heard Leonard Padilla say negative things about Cindy. Now you see it up close and personal. All right, point taken.